we have seen that this language cannot be proved to be not regular by using the pumping lemma that we have studied. We have proved this lemma. Now, I had claimed that this language is not regular. Uh, at the same time, this particular form of pumping lemma is unable to show that. We can uh, make a generalization, which is not too difficult to prove. So, let me state that. So, let me say generalized pumping lemma for regular languages and uh, we state something like this. Let L be a regular language, then there is a constant k depending on L such that for all x in the language x is greater than equal to k and instead of saying that there exists u v w and we will say here and x is equal to u v w where the length of v is greater than equal to k. We have no constraint on u and w and of course, these things will stay change. So, let me remove these. Right now, what it is saying that if you say L is a regular language, then there is a constant k depending on L such that for all x in L, length of x is greater than equal to k and x is of the form u v w, where v is of length greater than k. In other words, it says that v is a substring of x, may be anywhere in x, whose length is in greater than equal to k. In fact, let me just, this is ok. Without loss of generality, we can even say this, that v is equal to k. x is greater than equal to k and x is u v w, uh, v is equal to k. We have that there exists v 1, v 2, v 3 such that this string v is equal to v 1, v 2, v 3 and for all i greater than equal to 0, the string u v 1, v 2 to the power i v 3 w is also in the language L kind of similar to the old statement, except what we are saying is that you take any string of length, uh, any string in the language L whose length is greater than k and suppose you consider any substring in that string x whose length is equal to k that is v, then it is possible to break up that v in terms of v 1, v 2, v 3 such that see originally the string x was u then this is your then v then w this was the string now we are breaking this in three parts or what we are saying is this v can be broken up in three parts v1 v2 v3 such that u v1 this v 2 any power of it followed by v 3 and w this whole thing will be in the language. Now, the proof is really really very similar to 
the idea that we have used to prove our original form of pumping lemma. See, v is of length k. So, how did that old proof go? Old proof used the fact that suppose L is regular, then there is a DFA M to accept L. Then we said let M have k states and that k was the k that it came here and the whole idea was that we took the first part of the string which is of length k in the old proof and then we said that this string which we had called u v in the old proof right and this was uh, we said that look in this in if you, if you, if you see the first k symbols of the string then consider the state sequence which takes the machine from q 0 to a final state q f because the entire string is accepted there will be such a sequence of states and consider the working of the machine on the first k symbols in this there are k symbols then the state sequence here q i 1 etcetera they will be up to this point when it is just over the first k symbols are over there will be k plus 1 exactly k plus 1 states and since there are only k states one of the states here must repeat itself without any state repeating I cannot construct a sequence of k plus 1 states using only k states. And then we said the part in between these two states, the part of the string which took the machine from P to back to P was V and then the argument was given that if you put any number of V's one after another and leave the first part and the last part, so this part was W. the new string will still be accepted. And now, the all, all that we are saying that consider now I am talking of the proof for the general case. What we said let this be x and let v be any substring of x which is of length k. And then in this for this substring which has k symbols consider the sequence of states the machine will go through first coming here and then coming here in that sequence there will be k plus 1 states the same reason because there are k symbols. So, one of the states will repeat and that part which will take the machine from the same state p back to the same state p that we identify in this proof as v 2 right and this part was v 1 this part was v 3 this is v 2 and this part was u and this part was w and since v 2 was taking the machine from p to p any number of copies after the first v 2 will also take the machine from initial state to the final state. No, total string now then supposing you put v 2 twice then it will be u v 1 
v2 v2 v3 w this string also will be in the language and you can pump v2 any number of times and if you pump it 0 times that means this v v2 you have removed so that is all right the string then will be v3 w which will take the machine from p to the final state. So, that is the proof of the generalized lemma and that can be easily used to prove this particular language to be not regular. Now, we will consider the string. So, now we are proving that L is not regular by using the generalized form of the pumping lemma. The proof will go like this that let again it is by contradiction you will say let L be regular and let k be the constant of the lemma. And now consider this string a b to the power k c to the power k, which is surely in the language L, because if i is equal to 1, then we require the number of b's to be equal to number of c's. So, this string is in the language. Now, break up this string as this is the u, this entire set of B's will constitute the V for the generalized lemma and this is your W and this says that they will exist V 2 V 1 V 2 V 3 whose concatenation is this string V right. So, we can write this as U v 1, v 2, v 3, then w, of course, w is the c k, the all the c's, there are k such c's, this whole thing is your b's and this is u is only an a and I should have said this, of course, very importantly like in the old case, old form of the lemma that the length of V 2 is greater than 0 in the generalized form and remember the reason for that is when in the state sequence the state repeats, even if these are consecutive states there will be at least one symbol. So, repetition means there will be some symbols in between and that those symbols constitute the string v 2 therefore, length of v 2 is greater than 0. So, now you can see that on pumping some number of times the number of b's will increase not nothing else will change in particular number of a's will not change and number of c's will not change right and therefore, will get a string in which I will have on pumping will get the string a b l c k where l is strictly greater than k. Why? because we have pumped v let us say twice and therefore, originally the string had k b's 
the V2 part had it had at least one V. Now, we have added one or more B's. So, the number of B's have increased from k to something higher number and now the lemma states that this will be in the language, but that contradicts the definition of the language that there is only one a and yet the length of b's is not same as the length of c. Right? So, the general form of lemma does indeed prove that the language l is not regular. Do remember what I initially forgot to write was crucial that the V 2 part is non empty, but that that I am sure you will appreciate comes from the proof once we have it in mind that V 2 part is the part of the string within V that takes the machine from the same state to the same state. And since these two states are occurring separately V 2 part part must be non empty. Our next topic is a generalization of the finite automata that we had seen so far and we call this generalized form of finite automata as non deterministic finite automata. And before we give the definition and see examples of this kind of automata. Let us appreciate why we are interested in generalizing our automata that we have seen so far. We define this class of languages regular languages and we had proved many languages to be regular and we know that by definition the regular language is a language which is accepted by a DFA, but we also saw the that uh, DFAs are unable to accept some very simple looking languages. For example, we had this is a very simple looking you would agree that we are just saying the languages in which we have zeros and ones in that order and the number of zeros is same as number of ones. This is something this is a language no DFA can accept. So, it is not regular. So, obviously, we would like to generalize the class of languages for which we can have we can define formally automata and other devices for accepting. Now, it is because of that reason we think of generalizing finite automata. So, the way we think of the generalization although by the way let me just say that although we are saying this is a generalized form it will turn out that this form also will not be accept will not be able to accept anything other than regular languages. And yet this is an important topic because of the reasons that will enumerate later. If you go back to DFA definition, we had the constraint that call it constraint or call it uh, the way it was defined was that suppose the machine is in some state and then a symbol comes a right. So, this is p then the machine will go to some other state q right. In another other words we said that delta p a will be some state q in our set of states. So, what is happening is that from a state on when a symbol comes a there is a unique transition that is possible. Right? 
So, from every state one and on every symbol there is a unique next state that made sense the way we had defined the automata, but suppose someone asked this question that what happens if I relax this, what happens if I say that from a state on a symbol there can be 0, 1 or more transitions. Now, let me first give an example to see what we mean by saying that from a state there can be 0, 1 or more transitions out, out on the same symbol. So, consider this automaton. Look at this. This is certainly not. Uh, that is all. I have not. I have given you all the arrows that I need to define this automaton. You see, in this state, on zero, you could come back to this state because of this transition. Also, there is a transition out of this state on the same symbol 0 to this particular state. Similarly, on 1 from this state there is a transition back to the same state, also there is a transition to this state. So, from this state on both 0 and 1, both the symbol 0 as well as 1, we have not 1, but 2 transitions out of that. On the other hand, look at this state. In this state, we have a transition on symbol 1, but there is no transition out of this state on the symbol 0. Implicitly, I am assuming that the alphabet is binary. So, let me write it clearly here. That although my alphabet has two symbols, in this state for example, on 0, we have no transition defined. Similarly, from this state, there is on symbol 1, there is no transition defined. So, at least this particular automaton certainly has that property that we talked of that from one state they can be either 0, 1 or more transitions on the same symbol. Once we make this kind of an automaton, at least define this kind of an automaton, what does it mean to say that this automaton has an input and is doing the computation on the input. So, this we should be clear about what does it mean to say that we have a computation of this automata. Now, like a DFA, this NFA also have some input which is a string over the alphabet. So, let us say the in our input is 
0 1 1 0 and let me name these states. So, this is q 0, this is q 1, q 2, q 3, q 4, q 5. So, there are total 6 states and as before an arrow coming from nowhere, it means that this is the initial state. So, the this in a say this automaton if I name it m initially it is in its state q 0. Okay. So, that is easy to see. So, here is this input 0 1 1 0 and initially the machine is in state q 0. Now, let us say the input is there and the input the first symbol of the input is 0. So, what happens? In fact, this is what the first question will ask that there are two transitions out of the initial state on 0. Then what happens? What does the machine do? Which state the machine go to on 0 starting from the initial state q 0? Well, conceptually the way to think about these machines will be that it can go to all these arrows etcetera all what they are saying is that since there are two transitions on 0 out of the state, the machine can go to one of these two states either q 0 or q 1. Which state it will go to? We see non deterministically machine makes a choice to take one of these two transitions, but what so, so, so the initial symbol is 0. We can imagine a picture like this if I write out all possibilities. So, from q 0 on 0 the machine can go to q 0 itself as well as it can go to the state q. Let me complete this and then we will discuss a little more about what we mean by computation of an NFA. Then the next symbol 1 k from, from q 0 on 1 you see it can remain in q 0. So, this is the next symbol 1 that k and on 1 it can also go to q 4. What about q 1? See had it gone to q 1 on the first 0, now it is seeing the second symbol 1 from q 1 on 1 it has to go to q 2 there is no other choice. Then the third symbol 1 comes and from q 0 as we have seen earlier it has on 1 it can either go to q 0 or also it can of course, go to q 4. and from q 4 on 1, where can it go to? See, this is the state in which it saw 1 and these are the two possible states it could go to. From q 4 on 1, if you see there is only unique state it can go to which is q 5. From q 2, had the machine taken this path from q 0 had the machine on the first 0 chose to go to q 1 and then q 1 when it saw 1 it had no choice really x 
step to go to Q 2 which is ok. Now, on Q 2 it sees the same 1, but what happens on Q 2 on 1 there is no transition defined. What does the machine where which state the machine goes to? It is not defined right. So, we say that if machine had taken these choices then the computation computation abots. there is this path, there is nothing much to do, because on Q 2 uh, 1 had come and there is nothing else to do, other than the machine abort. By abort what I mean is, let me let me make it clear, see the suppose the machine was in this in state Q 2 and a 1 came, since no transition is defined, then that computation cannot proceed any further and that is what we mean by ab the computation aborting. The computation no more nothing else is defined about the computation. Now, you see another 0 comes the machine supposing it had taken this these choices from q 0 on first 0 it went to q 0 on q 0 on second I mean second symbol which was 1 remained in q 0 and this it can again as two choices from q 0 on 0 it can go to q 0 itself. Or it can go to q 1 from q 4 on 0 we have a problem again, because q 4 you see there is no transition defined on 0. So, this path aborts, this computation aborts. There is machine could be in q 5, q 5 on the 0 it is remain in q 5. So, one thing is clear even if you define it the machine our machine in this way where there can be 0, 1 or more transitions out of a state as in this case. What we can do is that given an input we can see which all states the machine can be at the end of this tree. And you can see this is this is a kind of tree is not it, this is a tree and uh, at this level when I have 0 1 1 0 so each level is talking about what are the states that the machine can be after seeing that part that much of the that some initial prefix of the input. Then I have this tree and this is called the computation tree of a of the non deterministic machine. machine m on input 0 1 1 0. I would like to emphasize that while talking of non deterministic machines, we of course, see that the machine is faced with certain choices at certain points in the computation. For example, here if the machine was in this state after reading 0 or 1, it has the choice of either going to q 0 or q 4. What happens you may ask what actually happens, 
if I start the machine on this input, what actually happens? What actually happens is one way of thinking of this is the machine follows one of these paths, which path the machine will follow actually we do not see, because all we see the machine can follow this, can follow this, can follow this. This is like a human being right, I mean you are walking on the road and the road bifurcates, we cannot say which fork you will take, I have the choice if I am faced with the road we are going and there is a, there is a circle and there are two road the road is bifurcating i can either take the left part or the right part i have the choice similarly this machine i mean at least intuitively at a conceptual level we can think in this way that the machine has a choice and sometimes if you run it many times maybe sometimes it follows this path maybe sometimes it follows this path and so on but one more thing that there is no probability involved, we are not saying that with certain probability it will take this part, this state or, or it will go to this, it is not a probabilistic machine, although such a definition is possible, we will not consider probabilistic finite automata here, but that is possible, but here it is not that the we are it is there is any probability etcetera associated with these choices that it takes one transition with certain probability another transition with another probability. It is really really the best way to think of these machines is the machine is making a choice. Next question that comes is how do we realize such a machine and how do I realize in a machine choice. Those of you who know a little bit of electric, I mean, you have seen some first courses in electrical engineering, you have seen flip flops. It is not difficult to see that I can realize a DFA using hardware. It is very easy to see, I can simulate a DFA, I can write a program which will see it simulate the working of a DFA. But can I write a program to simulate or to work uh, like an NFA? I do not know, I mean there, there is no such machine I know of which makes choices. So, then what good is this kind of machine you may ask. See what, what, what we can do is we can use this theoretical construct of a non determinism to define languages. Now, what is the language accepted by NFA, right? Suppose in that definition, that definition is clear like in the case of NFA, see in case of NFA, uh, sorry DFA, we wrote it, we presented a DFA and then we said that there is a unique language associated with this machine, which is the language accepted by the DFA. That will be the similar is the case even with NFA. So, let me informally write the language accepted by M, L M, the language accepted by M in F A M to be the set of all strings over my alphabet, all finite strings over my alphabet and what is the qualification on these strings such that x can take the machine m from its initial state. to one of its. Now, operative word phrase is can take, x can take the machine m 
from its initial state to one of its final states. Now, let us look at this computation tree for the example machine that I have drawn. Is this string in the language accepted by the machine M? Well, which are the states the machine can go to on the input 0, 1, 1, 0? That I have seen q 0, q 1 and q 5. And as it happens, q 5 is a final state. So, do you see that the machine m can go from its initial state q 0 to one of its final states q 5 on the input 0 1 1 0. Therefore, this string is in the language accepted by the machine m the way we have defined this is an informal definition as I am saying, we will formalize it later, but let us work with this informal definition for a little while more. I have just told you that the string 0 1 1 0 can take the machine m from its initial state q 0 to one of its final states as it happens here q 5. Therefore, we will say that 0 1 1 0 is in the language accepted by m. Can we see what precisely is this language? I claim that L m is the set of all binary strings 0, all finite binary strings such that x has as a substring either 0 1 0 or 1 1. I claim that this is the language accepted by the machine M. The notion of the language accepted by a non deterministic machine remember is the set of strings which can take each of which can take the machine from its initial state to one of the final state. So, can we argue this out that using that notion of acceptance, the language accepted by M is precisely this. All right. First of all, think of a string which has either 0, 1, 0 or 1, 1 as a substring. So, in particular, think of a string, we, we do not need this anymore. So, let us think of a string. This is there. Think of a string which has as a substring suppose 0, 1, 0. This is our string is x. So, there is some initial part and followed by that substring there is some other part. So, call this first part as x 1 and the last part as x 2. Now, what the machine can do? Remember, I am not saying I can never say about NFAs that machine is going to doing to do this or the machine will do precisely this, but what I can definitely say is the machine can do such and such thing using its choices. So, what the machine can do that on x 1 it remains in this state, right. Imagine x 1 1 was some 0 or 1 something 1 some this is x p or x 1 right. So, what the machine machine of course, could have done on 0 it could have right on the first 0 it could have gone to either q 1, but it chose to remain in this state q 0 on this part x 1. Now, on this 0, which is the first symbol of the substring of interest, the machine makes this transition to q 1 and then a 1 comes, it has to go to q 2, it does so. Then a 0 comes 
it comes to q 3 and then in it remains in q 3 because you know of this loop. So, do you see that on a string x which has as a sub string 0 1 0, it is possible for the machine to go from the initial state it is initial state q 0 to this final state q 3 and similar is the case that on any string which has a substring as a substring 1 1, the machine what it can do on this part it will choose to remain in q 0 and on this 1. Now, there may be 1s which might have occurred before, but on all those 1s it remained in q 0 and then it on this particular 1, this 1 1 is the substring of interest came to q 4 on q 4 then a 1 came it went to q 5 and then the rest of the string it will remain in q 5. Then therefore, again on this string the machine has the capability machine can go from its initial state to one of its final states in this case it is q 5. So, my claim is that if you if you work with this definition of the language accepted by the non deterministic machine M, then all these strings which has as a substring either 0 1 0 or 1 1 such strings will be accepted. And therefore, what I have really shown to you that the language accepted. So, let, let me write it this way that x x has I am just repeating that x has as a substring 0 0 uh, 0 1 0 or 1 1 this set this set is a subset of the language accepted by our machine, but if I want to show the equality I need to prove the other way. I need to prove also along with this I need also to show that suppose a string is accepted by this machine by that what we mean the string takes the machine from or not takes the I am sorry, the such a string can take the machine. So, any 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 string here by definition is a string which can take the machine from the initial state to one of its final states, then such a string has to have either 0 1 0 or 1 1 as a substring. Again that can be looked at in this manner, but imagine that string. Now, that string finally and imagine that those choices which because of which the machine went from q 0 to one of these final states. Consider in particular that the machine went to q 3 initially it was in q 0, then that string came and the machine exercised its choices and finally, at the end of the string it is in this state. Now, do you see that string has to have 0, 1 and 0 in succession, why? Because finally, we are talking of a path that which went from 0 q 0 to q 3. That path there may be many this loop that path might have taken, but since it came from here at some point in the path q 2 must have come immediately after which q 3 came. And that transition is possible only on 0 from q 2 to q 3 and then it came it came to q 2 and the state immediately before that must have been q 1 it must have been 1 because the only way the machine can come to this state q 2 is from this state on 1 right. 
see there is that is the only transition and so the machine sometime came to q 1 after which there was a 1 0 and then some part of the string and then it came to now you are saying it came to q 1, but it could come to q 1 only on a 0. So, therefore, put together the this 0 1 0 must occur in any part right whose levels are this such symbols you understand what I mean any path from q 0 to q 3. If I think of any path which takes the machine from q 0 to q 3 that path must be labeled with 0 1 0 all right which means that if the machine went to q 0 to q 3 on a string then that string must have 0 1 0 as a substring. Similarly, on another way of accepting a string would be that it finally went to q 5 and for that the string must have 1 1 as a substring. So, that will prove this assertion. So, therefore, I can claim put together that this is a subset of L m and L m is a subset of this therefore, it is an equality. So, let us see another example, we will keep this definition here, but the example will change. So, consider this machine. Well, this is my name another machine M, which is again a non deterministic machine. It is not a deterministic machine because from this state on 1 it could go to either here or it can remain in this state. And you see there is no transition out of this state, which is the only final state the machine has, neither on 0 nor on 1, it has a transition. If I call this machine M and I now claim that L M again my alphabet is binary, I claim that L M is the set of all binary strings, finite binary strings, such that the fourth bit from the right end is 1. Now, you you have encountered this sort of languages before when we are discussing with the DFA and remember that we even proved that for this language to be accepted by a DFA that DFA must have at least 2 to the power 4 states and in fact, we showed that 2 to the power 4 states will suffice, but no DFA can accept this language with less than 2 to the power 4 states that we proved. 2 to the power 4 is of course, 16. So, that DFA, uh, DFA to accept this language would require 16 states. But, if I am correct in making this assertion, then I have an NFA to accept the same language with much fewer states, namely 5 states. Well, imagine I have a string whose fourth bit from the right is 1 and let us say I have some more bits here. Now, it is very easy to see that this string will be accepted by this machine, because why this string remember why because this string can take the machine from this state to that state. Why because you know on 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 up to this point before just the bit before the fourth bit from the right this is the fourth bit from the right 1, 2, 3, 4. All this time the machine chose to remain in this state 
and now this one came it had the choice of being here as well as going there, but now it exercised the choice of going to this state. Now, once on this it went to this particular state, supposing I name them as q 0, q 1, q 2, q 3, q 4, then of course, the next one see it either on 0 or on 1 from q 1 it will go to q 2 it went to q 2 then this 0 came it went to q 3 and then after q 3 this 1 came it now in q 4 right. So, this string can take the machine from q 0 to q 4. So, it is fairly easy to see that any string which has 1 as its fourth bit from the right end, such a string can take the machine from its initial state to its final state. And similarly, I can argue the other way around that suppose I have a string which is accepted by this machine that is which is in the language. So, that string will spell out a path from here to here and you see once the machine reaches here there is no transition out. If there was any further symbol then what would have happened the machine computation would have aborted right. So, it must be that path must be such that that the fourth bit from in that path when I look at the symbols the fourth bit from the right hand must be 1 right. So, you can you can you can look at this uh, example and convince yourself in the same manner if need be you can draw a few uh, computation trees as we did in the first case for some strings. For example, let us take a uh, computation tree for a machine for a string which is not in the language my claimed language. So, let us say uh, 0 0 0 0 the fourth bit is not here. So, in fact, on this of course, the machine will always remain in q 0 that is clear, but let us say it is 0 1 1 something like this. So, think of 0 1 1 1 this string, this should not be in the language because the fourth bit from the right end is a 0 and not 1. So, what happens? Let me just go do this. Initially, the machine is in q 0, the 0 came, the machine will remain in q 0 on the first 0 and then a 1 came. On 1, the machine has the choice to go to either q 1 or q 0. So, this is the 1. On the next one again it can go to either q 0 or q 1 which is fine. On q 1, so this is the next one that we are talking of on from q 1 on 1 it can go to q 2. In fact, it will go to q 2 it has no other choice q 2 and then the final one came. What is that? What will happen to that? When this final one comes, it will be either in q 0 or in q 1 right. From q 1, when the 1 comes, it will go to q 2. and from q 2 when the 1 comes it will go to q 3. So, these are the only 3 only states the machine can be either in q 0, q 1, q 2 or q 3, but it will not be in q 4. It cannot be in q 4 on the input 0 1 1 1. So, therefore, this string will not be will is not a string which can take the machine from its initial state 
to its final state u 4. So, therefore, it is not in the language. We will see other examples of NFAs, but before we leave this example, we have seen two examples in of NFAs and we have informally described the language as accepted by these two NFAs. We will continue, uh, but before we continue and take up further examples of NFAs, we will need to understand the conceptual way in which most people understand the working of NFAs and that is what we are going to describe now.